Hello everybody, today we have our 28th Berlin Real Estate Talk. Today our topic is the rent law here in Berlin, Germany. And especially for you as a landlord, we have uh, a very, very um, famous guest, our lawyer, our famous lawyer here, Mr. Tobias Scheidacker. Thank you for joining us today, Tobias. Good evening. You can uh, Google, of course, Tobias on our website as well. It's called um, ekb-law.de. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course follow us on social media if you have questions um, particular questions please contact us anytime on our website if you have any ideas what we should talk about in the future any certain topics please also feel free to contact our team and if you have a certain legal question when it comes to owning a property in Berlin Germany or renting out a Berlin property or another property in Germany please contact Tobias directly on his website First of all, I quickly uh, introduce you um, to Mr. Tobias Scheidacker. He's a very well-known lawyer here based in Berlin, Germany, covering the rental laws um, for owners, um, for tenants. And uh, we had now the election this year. I think you're aware of that. So we have a change in, in, the, in the federal federal level in Germany. Uh, it's a new coalition. And we also have in Berlin uh, the existing coalition with a little bit of different uh, voting uh, shares, I would say. Um, so the big topic is, of course, what's changing in 2020 and what have been the major things that have changed in the year 2021. Uh, so this year, we're having now end of December this year. And um, so to be honest, maybe, um, maybe you can phrase um, briefly the main things you have done this year here in, in Berlin, Germany on the rental topic. I'm happy to translate as well. Yeah, ich würde das weiterhin in Deutsch machen. <laughs> okay, no problem. So I'm translating this now. Yeah. Ja, ja, die wesentlichen Aufgaben dieses Jahr waren Mietpreis, Bremse und Eigenbedarf. Yeah. So the main topics were the, the rental, um, not the rental freeze or the ceiling, but the, um, the we call that the rental break, which we still have in Germany, which is still uh, uh, in, the, in the law. So the rental ceiling has been. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of that has been taken off, mm -hmm. but the rental break is still in there. And the other one is, of course, for people who are buying apartments, or who are owning apartments, and they want to um, cancel the lease with the tenant because they want to use the apartments for themselves or for the families. These mm -hmm. were the main two topics this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, of how many cases are you covering at the moment this year, or how many new cases did you receive this year? Yeah, I had this year um die 500 Neuakten. Yeah die zu wahrscheinlich um die 800 bestehenden Akten noch dazu kamen. Okay, so at the moment this year he got 500 new cases and in addition he has already 800 um, pending cases mm -hmm. he's covering and ja. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Was ist denn, um, oh sorry, what's, what do you think is the, the main topic for, 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 for owners to watch out for the year 2022, especially international owners of German property? In the yeah. Es würde mich nicht verwundern, wenn der eine oder andere, der noch keine Mietpreisbremse bekommen hat von seinem Mieter, also Rüge, eine Rüge bekommt nächstes Jahr und sich dann mit dem Thema auseinandersetzen muss, ob die Mietvereinbarung der Höhe nach zulässig ist. Okay. Mhm. Okay. So, um, if you are an international landlord here in Berlin, Germany, or close to Berlin, in other countries as well, provinces of course in Germany, and you're renting out your apartment, and maybe you're not doing that with a professional agency, or you're doing it on your own, um, and you have a high rental income, I think especially for apartments who have been completed before 2014. Mm -hmm. um, please correct me if I'm saying something no, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You should uh, well be aware of that the, the local council, the local government have the opportunity to um, actually um, give you, send you a letter. I'm not sure if you will receive that letter when you're based in Singapore, Thailand, uh, Bangkok or the US or any other non-European country. But uh, please watch out for that you might um, have the, the threat that you will receive a letter by the local council that your rent will be too, too much or is too high and that you have to lower the rent because of the so-called rental break here in Germany. Even if you rent out furnished, um, I think that's a big misunderstanding. A lot of um, landlords think if they rent out furnished, they're having no restriction, which, mm -hmm. isn't, which is not correct. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter if you rent out furnished or unfurnished. Even the furnished uh, uh, renting or letting, there are the same laws like the unfurnished. And of course, maybe we can, we can say a few words to the furnished letting model. It's a little bit, um, the, the at least the local government in Berlin is putting a lot of pressure 
on, the, on that kind of market. Is this correct? Ja, richtig. Die Rüge, die Mietpreisbremse Rüge wird allerdings nicht vom Local Council kommen, sondern die kommt dann eher vom Mieter oder seinem Anwalt. Ne? Okay. Und dann hat man ein zivilrechtliches Verfahren miteinander. Okay, so the, the so-called um, uh, announcement will not come by the local council, will come by your, uh, your tenant. I think we already had a couple of cases this year. Yeah. Um, and um, by, by all the lawyer of the tenant. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one thing. And in terms of the, because um, you, you, you did have sent us a couple of questions, of course, in advance. Um, in terms of the, the new coalition, what do you think are the, the main topics of the new coalition when it comes to to uh, mm -hmm. on the on the federal on the federal level first on the federal level okay yeah. ähm, da wird es weiterhin um Mietreduzierung gehen also um die Regulierung der vorhandenen Verträge und auch von neuen Verträgen mit dem Ziel dass die Mieten nicht in der Weise steigen wie die Kaufpreise steigen mm. ne, und auch nicht mit der Inflation so mitlaufen also die Limitierungen die wir da sehen mm. die sind niedriger angelegt als das was wir als Inflationsrate inzwischen erwarten müssen mm. Yeah, I think um, if you are buying a property which is not a new build in Germany, um, on the federal level, of course, um, we expect further regulations when it comes to the opportunity to, to higher rent, you know, to increase your rents in existing contracts, but also for new, um, new rental contracts. Um, so, and the, the possibility for you as a landlord to increase the rent is at the moment, according to the current law, and I think the, the, the new regulation will confirm that less than the inflation rate. I think at the moment we have an inflation of nearly 5%. Mm -hmm. um, we're having now December 2021. Not sure how the inflation is going to happen next year. Mm -hmm. No one knows really, but I don't think it's going to be uh, so much less at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something you should watch out. There is another topic, which is a so-called 10-year tax break. A lot of our international mm -hmm. investors are asking for that. Um, is this something you think is, is a big topic at the moment in the coalition? No, I don't expect that. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you got that. It's um, it's a big topic, especially for German investors as well, um, that you have the 10-year tax break when you buy property in Germany, um, and then you can sell it after 10-year capital gains tax-free. At least in Germany, if you're resident overseas, um, please speak to your local accountant and make sure you have a double taxation agreement wherever you're based. However, when you buy property, um, don't uh, believe uh, uh, the agent. I'm an agent myself, <laughs> promising you that um, this will stay forever. So don't buy property uh, under the assumption that you will don't pay any taxes in Germany. That's not, uh, um, uh, we call that a feasible business model. Yeah? So um, it's at the moment, it's a benefit and we think it will stay. But of course, we can't promise you because coalitions are changing. We've seen that this year and uh, the majorities of people are usually voting for uh, more taxes in Germany when it comes to property owners. You can see that already on the um, current, um, yeah, on the current laws. Um, another big topic for international investors are when they already have properties in Germany mm -hmm. where the tenant are not paying a really high rent, mm -hmm. which is far above the market average. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of opportunities do they have to increase the rent? Da kann man nicht allzu viel machen. Man ist limitiert auf eine Erhöhung 15 Prozent alle drei Jahre. Mhm. Äh, allerdings nur bis zu dem marktüblichen Niveau. Und das marktübliche Niveau wird üblicherweise durch in Berlin durch den Mietspiegel abgebildet. Mhm. Der ist allerdings in einer Weise statistisch angelegt, dass er doch deutlich unter dem bleibt, was man so erwarten würde. Mhm. Okay. So, uh, the answer to that question is there in uh, you only can increase the rent by 15% uh, every three years. And of course you only can increase the rent to a certain limit. Um, which is the so-called uh, rental average. So every city um, is usually um, uh, publishing uh, uh, every year the so-called uh, Mietspiegel, which is every the rental years. average. Every two years. Mm. Every two years? Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm. Every two years. And um, you, you can't uh, go above that. However, for instance, in Berlin, uh, we at the moment do not really have a qualified uh, rental average because I think of the, of the rent ceiling we had last year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a little bit of an of a topic, also the official rental average is much, much less than the real market rent. Um, so please watch out for whoever you buy in Germany, um, that you double check that with your letting and management agent, or you speak to Tobias, you can contact him on his website, it's uh, bklaw.de, um, and he also has a, has a blog, of course you can Google translate that, if you want to have that uh, funny German real estate topic 
um, Google Translated. I'm not sure if it's so uh, good for you, so please contact Tobias or contact our Latin management company, Black Label Property Management, if you have further questions on these kind of topics. Thank you for uh, watching today our 28 Berlin Real Estate Talk. Uh, I think we have covered a lot of your topics and um, if you have further questions, please contact um, uh, the website of uh, Tobias Scheitaka. It's called ikb-law.de. And Tobias, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, social media channels, our YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us directly. Thank you for watching tonight.